welcome to the channel. Um, today I'm gonna be doing kind of like a base tutorial because I rushed through it in my last video. Just more of like an in-depth how I get to that final point of blush highlight from skincare to the end. Um, so yeah, I suppose we just get into it. I changed my hair. I got a little bit impulsive and changed it. So I've got like an emo fringe mullet situation going on that needs to be clipped back. My skin is upset today. I have spots coming up and it's just one of those kind of days. The emo fringe out the way and just use little butterfly clips. I think I've already broken this one. So it's not opening as well as the others. And now that I look utterly ridiculous, we could probably get started. I wish I had like one more butterfly clip. I might. I don't. That's all out the way. Um, I've got my Paula's Choice mini, what one is this? Step 4 Ultra Light Daily Hydrating Fluid with SPF 30. For blemish prone skin. Honestly, this is as spotty as I get. I never have more than maybe, like, you can't see this one on camera very well. But I've got, like, a few. That one's the biggest. I've got, like, maybe four spots, and that's as spotty as I get. I'm just going to take a little line of it on my finger. And then I'm going to go in with the Kills gel cream. I like light blue skincare, apparently. And it works well for me, so... I don't know why I keep trying to go in with my fingertips. I need to get my nails done. They're really grown out. Like, that's embarrassing. So, I might get those done today. I probably won't, but I might. I'm going to have crappy nails for the next video as well. Because I'm recording this kind of in, like, two parts. I'm doing this base tutorial today like in this video and then I'm gonna like do an outro stop do another intro and then do like the eye tutorial I say tutorial as if anyone is gonna ever learn anything yeah my skin is moisturized that's good I want to hear <laughs> I'm gonna mix primers today because I've got kind of a long day both recording wise and just life so I'm gonna use my elf luminous putty primer first just because I have a whole thing of it I don't particularly like this primer to be honest it's not bad it's just not ideal for me I suppose I get it feels nice. I use this kind of like every day as a after moisturizer, just so my skin doesn't look dry throughout the day. And it is nice under the eyes, to be fair. I don't know what it's got in it, but it feels like not silicone-y, but that same kind of. Well, it kind of feels like silicone, but like a soft silicone. And then I'm going to use the e.l.f. Hydro Grip Primer on like my nose. Oh, I'll just show you. I don't know why I'm describing things as if it's not a video. And I only use like... That's never going to show up. I'm trying to learn how to make things focus because they don't. <laughs> but I'm going to put it on like my nose, my forehead my chin and then I'm gonna take the excess of my fingers and put it through my eyebrows anytime I use the hydro grip I put it through my eyebrows because it stays and just they'll stay like this all day now when I don't use the hydro grip I, I put hairspray on a spoolie and put them over like that and I'm gonna let this soak in for a minute so more tea. <laughs> Foundation. I'm 
I'm basically mixing everything today because I'm not quite I need a little bit of everything <coughs> sorry so not only am I going in with my Rimmel true match I'm also gonna use my L'Oreal nude serum what are you L'Oreal true match nude plumping tinted serum in shade very light and this is shade light porcelain I am pale is all I'm learning so I'm gonna just I have a piece of plastic on my desk because I don't have a nice looking palette and I'm just gonna put a pump of each onto the plastic like this piece of plastic is disgusting I wash it but makeup just stains I'm gonna mix it on the thing with my finger and then so one's more of a full medium to full coverage and one's a very light coverage and I want the in-between of it all so the serum doesn't layer very well so there's no point putting two coats on and the other one doesn't shear out very well so I'm just mixing them both together and that's it no that's how I feel though doing my makeup sometimes I'm like let me just stop here <laughs> I'm just gonna take I have a whole thing of beauty blenders and every few months um I just throw the one away for hygiene I just I don't really believe that you can wash <coughs> a beauty blender very well because like, it's a sponge if it absorbs products it definitely absorbs bacteria from your skin so I don't really like they're cheap enough like I got a pack of 12 on Amazon for like maybe five six pounds and they came in like an egg carton I have I should, I'm, they're in my other drawer it's gonna be kind of loud um, so they came in an egg carton and each one's a different shape so every few months I just like that's my second pack I've been buying them for a few years now And that's my cons uh, my foundation done. I made with those little iron-on beads. Um, I think they're called hammer beads. A little plumb bob from Stardew Valley that I can just put my sponge on, because then it doesn't sit on my table. And then I wash this, because then if I spill anything on my table, it doesn't touch my table my sponge and then I get less germs on my face but contour I use the revolution conceal and define in C13.5 uh, is this too dark for me yes and do I do my contour differently every single time yes but I blend it out and then it looks okay is that evenly on my face no, not a chance in half. Um, I'm just gonna blend it. Oh, I forgot to put some on my nose. That was a lot. Um, this isn't going very well. It's fine. Everything's fine. I really do feel like the dog burning down inside the house. Oh, that actually worked out a lot better than how it usually does. Maybe everything is fine. This is just one of those flat brushes. I'm not streamed this week because I've been so busy, but I'm trying to get some in. At, well, th this is at the time of recording. You might not see this for a few weeks, but it's the 29th of March today, and this probably won't come out until to say second week of April because I've got other videos coming up first but there's one in the works right now that's being edited by amazing editor where where are my hands here are my hands what way do I move that way amazing editor uh, there's a video already being edited and this one will be edited after so you'll see it when you see it <laughs> today this looks really yellow on camera I've messed with my lighting a tiny bit 
and I didn't think it would make this much of a difference, this clip's falling out. Um, concealer. I lost my train of thought, if there was one. I'm not actually that sure. But this is the Revolution Conceal and Define, oh no, this is the Conceal and Hydrate. I didn't notice that. Uh, in C1. And I've also recently bought the Elf, what are you called? Elf Camo Conceal 16 hour in white um because i want to start doing some clown makeup i don't really know why i just it was on sale so i impulsively bought it and then started looking at clown core makeup i honestly do my makeup different every single time i do it so like this is too much concealer on the nose but i'm gonna now blend it up into the forehead instead of putting much on my forehead but yeah I always start blending on my chin first. I don't really need to put makeup on my on my forehead anymore because I've got a fringe again. <coughs> so that's my concealer done, and I'm pretty sure this is where I ended that bit last time. But now it's where I go in with everything else, like eyebrows, oh I didn't get any of that in my drawer, um, eyebrows, okay while that's all kind of setting down a little bit, I go and do my eyebrows, this is the e.l.f. Uh, instant lift brow pencil in neutral brown i got this for christmas i realize i use a lot of elf products but i've not actually ever bought that many myself just family members buy it for me for like christmas and birthdays i'm debating getting rid of my eyebrows again like there's a photo of me it might be on my instagram um i've got like orange curtain bangs it zoomed into like here i have no eyebrows and just like a black smoky eyeliner and i love that photo but i literally just scribble in my eyebrows and then brush them out a little bit and then i do blush i use a lot of blush this is the revolution cheeky palette uh, it came in the same christmas pack as the revolution wishful eyeshadow palette but I kind of avoid this shade and then just use the oh, use the other three. I just literally attack them with the brush. This is just like a slanted brush. And I just kind of go all into the top, right under my eye and up to my temple. And since having pink hair, there really is no too much blush that you can put on. There just isn't because it always looks washed out. Like you actually have to put on so much for it to look bad. And then I do the same thing and I take it like under the point of my nose. So when I look straight, there's like a line across that bit of my nose. And then I turn the brush on its side again and I go on the bridge of my nose. So it kind of looks like I'm sunburned. And that's that done. But then I just take a fluffy brush that I have literally never put anything on. And I just dust it over. I feel like it just makes it look better. I don't actually know if it does anything. And I've got this broken highlighter, which is the Revolution. Some of it just fell out. The Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter in Peach Lights. I've had this since I was probably about 13 years old. So I just take my finger on the back of the brush and I scrape it. 
and then I smear it on my face. And then I go back in with that fluffy brush that has nothing on it. And I dull it out. Because I always put too much on. And highlight doesn't stop there, unfortunately. Um, I use another e.l.f. product. This is the Liquid Metallic Eyeshadow in Little Dipper. It's like a rose gold colour. And I put it kind of towards, like, I suppose the outer corner of my eye. And then I, I swipe it kind of up into my temple. So it creates a little moon shape from the top of my cheekbone up to the front of my temple. And then I do the same thing just underneath my nose. I make a little, like a V shape. And then I just blend it out with my finger. And whatever excess goes kind of in between my eyebrows take it from like this point of my nose and just roll my finger upwards. Now that's blush and pink highlight done. And then I just take a little bit of the e.l.f. glitter. Um, I'm not, and just on the tip of the nose. And then again, in between the eyebrows. And then a little bit more forward on the cheek. This is Disco Queen by e.l.f. The glitter liquid, not the metallic liquid. And in real life, this just gives such a pretty sheen of glitter. On camera, it's looking a little bit chunky. But yeah. So that's like my in-depth base kind of tutorial. The rest of this, I suppose, makeup look will be out the following week once this is released. Um, but yeah, this is like the start, the start of how I start pre- there. Yeah, that's not words. This is how I start my makeup every day, like the boring bit of face makeup. But yeah, thank you for watching this. If you've made it all the way to the end, have a nice day, evening, afternoon, whatever time it is, wherever you are in the world. And I hope you join us next time. Bye.